Pre-built ML is software with a broad scope of use. It was designed and built as a tool to specify all the materials for the full frame and siding of a project. When it comes to the walls of a project, various tools are in place to make this possible. Take headers, for example. Here we are drawing a header on the main floor. As with other takeoff items, assignments can be made for both an application and a product. But for headers, an additional feature is the ability to assign an extension to the segment. In this case, we've indicated that we want a 6-inch extension on each end. With this setting made, as we draw more of these headers around the building, we only have to draw the width of the opening, and the 6 inches are added on either end to account for the bearing. We do not have to guess where the header starts or ends, we just draw the openings. With the headers all complete, we can move on to other applications related to the walls, such as the garage header. Here we draw the beam across the building and give the segment an application. When it comes to specifying a product, Prebuilt ML is well equipped. In fact, there are more than 50 million products from numerous manufacturers that can be specified with the Prebuilt ML database. In this case, we are going to pick a glue lamb, and we can specify specifically what size, brand, and type. From here we can move on to other applications, such as porch beam and porch post. Since posts typically are specified while you are looking down on them on the plan, you can't see the length of the member to draw it. But in pre-built, after you place a marker for the post, you can simply define the length of it. Even though you can't visually see the height on the page, you are still able to properly account for the lengths. In this case, the length defaults to 8 feet, but we can change it to 10 feet. So posts, headers, garage headers, and porch beams are all easy to call in Prebuilt ML. Now let's move on to calling some walls. Walls obviously have multiple different components to them. In Prebuilt, the goal is to make a limited number of entries that result in all of these components being specified. The process is easy. To start with, we'll measure how much linear footage of wall is needed for each wall type. Here we are drawing around the exterior walls, but we can also keep track of garage walls, warm walls, interior walls, or any other wall types required. We identify each different wall type by renaming the application and typing in a product name. We can also change the color to make it easier to distinguish between them. Once we have collected all the data for the various wall types, we go to the list and make a couple of simple entries. Here you see some wall assemblies at the top of our wall pack. Based on the data that we collected from the plan, we make an entry of 56 feet for the garage wall, and another matching entry indicating we need 56 feet of that wall to be sheathed. Now we'll go to the exterior wall and enter 117 feet with 117 feet of it sheathed. Warm walls are 24 feet, but in this project we don't need them to be sheathed, so we'll keep the second entry as zero. Then finally the interior walls will make a final entry there of 132 feet, and we're done. We can glance inside of a wall assembly and see all of the material that has been called. These outputs are based on the limited entries that we made and our predetermined preferences for waste factors and product types. Another valuable field resource that Prebuilt ML makes it easy to create is a header layout. This communicates clearly to the framers in the field through colors, pictures, and tags what products should be used at what locations so that the material that have been shipped to the job site is effectively used. Since we have already drawn the material in its proper location, creating layout is simple. Start by preparing the digitizer page by displaying the desired products and adjusting the background visibility. Return to the Framing Layout tab. After clicking Capture, you can title your layout and a professional layout is generated, complete with a title bar, logos, and borders. 
In the upper right hand corner, you can see that colors and tags correspond with the drawing to make it obvious where the material should be used. And cut logic is provided, showing the framers what length of material should be used for each specific piece. In the case of the 4 by 8 material, the 12 footer should be used for the 6 foot pieces and the three ten-footers for the remaining pieces. Without this guide, an eager framing crew could easily use the material wrong, only to run into a material shortage. But with pre-built ML, the directives are clear and errors can be avoided. When it comes to walls, pre-built ML makes it possible for you to work efficiently and communicate effectively all the way to the job site.